it's Abe Jolich here, Real Pro BJJ and BJJBasics.com. My buddy Vlad. Today we're going to be working a problem. Uh, someone asked me about they get an X pass, and so we'll do kind of like a early to mid stage response. Quick review. So what it sounded like they're working in an open guard. They said they had sleeves, but their buddy had shins, uh, pant Excuse me, shins or knees. I can't remember. And the guy just guy or girl just X pass. So real quick one time. Yep, and then like they're getting passed and they're dealing with all this stuff. So we'll go a little early. So the rule is in our open guard, they're not allowed to have our pants. That is just unacceptable. They have control of both legs. So whenever we can, as we've got our sleeve grips, we're going to take a foot off, kick and pull to try to break. You might return the foot here, or you might leave it like you're starting to pull his leg towards you like a Delahiba hook. Today, I'm gonna just pull a little bit. So as I kick and pull to break, I'm hugging one leg as I leg press him away with the other. During this leg press, I'm trying to corrupt his base. He cannot be comfortable, okay? At this point, if his weight is still going back like it was kind of in the beginning for the X-Pass, we sit up. I transfer the sleeve grip, check the lapel, check his knee, and we come up to what's oftentimes like a folding pass. You come to the front side, the back side, or the mount. Today I'll go to the back side. Different angle. Maybe you're not uh, real comfortable with that lahiva, so let's go like uh, more just the open guard. So when I'm here, I break. I return this foot on his hip. This other one, as I'm rowing, I leg press his foot away. I start standing up at that point. I shove the grip in. So he can't break this grip. I come as high as I can and try to bring the shoulder low. Careful on your buddies, There's, it could be a hard fall. This foot is looking to check his knee as I turn the wheel for the sweep. This is his leading edge. I want to flatten it down, so we use our head. We try to flatten it out. You can get a cradle and focus on passing this way, or like I just did, you can come with an underhook come to the back side. Different angle. You can't wait anymore. This is all this information you need. There's not a lot of weight on my heels, like his hips aren't coming onto me, and he's got my pants. I gotta break, replace, or come underneath. Let's start to push the weight, leg press coming up, check that knee, Turn the wheel, sweep it. This knee we want in the middle with our pan grip. Flattening them out and then pass as you like. If you ever need, this will connect to the staple as you come over incrementally. To look for your uh, pass without getting your legs jammed up. Last bit, solidified control with a seatbelt of uh, some sort or some kind of arm configuration. Last little complimentary detail. We did the move in another video, video show, so it, or I'll attach the link. If you're here, you start to do your break, but he drives towards you, it's gonna be an overhead sweep. Does that make sense? You got the leg press right now. You just gotta control their legs. Don't worry, we're not gonna do it. But know that that's a common response. Your buddies uh, will start doing back to you once the X-Pass is starting to get stifled like that. So I hope this helps, and uh, if you're ever in the Cleveland area, please come visit. Oh, thank you.